What is wrong with this damn program all the time breaking my audio? I'm a wreck you, you little stupid software. But I'll make the CPU roast you. I'll roast you for not activating my microphone. Come at me, audio properties. Give it to me. Chat, you say no audio, I will check for myself. I can hear myself. What are you saying, chat? Oh my god, what? Yeah. I, you, you tell lies, I will catch you and I will destroy microphone. So, chat, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, it's been a long time. I've grown beard, I've grown hair, I've grown everything you could uh, potentially grow on body. Do you even... It's like, can you imagine what you know, horrific things you can grow on body for so long periods of time? We will go to topic about Black Mesa and Upper Tour Science, where we will explore the intricacies, the little tiny details of why which is what and why what. Which of the two is the best? Without any hiccups, why Black Mesa is the best? I mean, why Black Mesa or Aperture? Is the best science scientific facility in the world the top the border world of success which is the in the gutter and which is there up in the heavens near the trophy cup that says best scientist best research best facility so let me just uh share it with the rest because come on you can't all you can't all just the ones here have all the fun right you must be less selfish Give it to him all. Of course, I have to put some words. Do, 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 do. Everything's fine. I can hear the voice of reason. And voice of reason is telling me, let's start the topic. Because the topic needs to be started. Let's explore the topic first. But first, we have to uh, put the foundations on. Yeah, it's like you have a house. You can't just put the pillars and expect for the wind not to blow the house away. All right. That's not how it's going to work. So. Black Mesa. Last time we talked about that the facility is pretty trash. By all means of trash, it's like you have a pile of garbage, right? And it's sinking and it's retching and you're like, I cannot stand this. It is disgusting. I have been here all this time and all I've been smelling is this rancid smell. Oh my god. And th that rancid smell was pretty much radiation which was flooding your nostrils all this time. So you're pretty much dead. Nevertheless, that's how we can summarize Black Mesa Research Facility. A rancid piece of trash where technology is not exactly uh, up to par with anything. Safety is disregarded. And yeah, p people in the workplace are pretty much easily replaceable. They're like a towel, a rag that you can buy at the, at the shop. You just use it, you, you use the rag to absorb the radiation and then you throw away that rag with radiation in the pit. There is no safety concerns in Black Mesa. There isn't, everything is kind of rushed. The technology is not really there because they're using all tech and this and that. And that's pretty much establishing what Black Mesa is, right chat? Serious and gaming, Aperture Science also went bankrupt while Black Mesa is getting better. Well, as... If you look at Black Mesa facility, it is a radioactive dump. You have the U, the U fictional US uh, throwing away uh, trucks of uh, radioactive trash. Because if you think about it, why wouldn't they just pull the trains to the Black Mesa research facility so they can dump all of their bad waste in there? It's already used as a facility for these kind of activities. And I don't really see why it should be a good facility if it's used for such sure aperture is all went bankrupt and they kind of used experiments that were kind of immoral at the same time but at least aperture wasn't a dumpster fire a hole in the ground filled with a sludge yet glow the green and you know create cute people right i mean you wouldn't well that's the thing moon rocks cave johnson did contact moon rocks in a bit Potentially a lot of test subjects had the touch of moon rocks in, on, on their skin, right? Aperture has more usable area. Black Mace is better equipped and doesn't throw money out of the window for no good reason. You're saying the Black Mace ain't throwing money out of the into the toilet? I mean out of the window? The toilet? The trash? Black Mace isn't throwing money away? 
What are you saying? Are you saying Black Mesa is efficient? Have you seen this disgusting facility? They're running tests for everything, for old Porto technology, all kinds of reactors. They're using a whole dam worth of electricity. They don't have renewable energy. What is Aperture using as electrical source? Are they using a whole dam to power their whole facility? Not that I think so. Chad, what, are, what is Aperture actually using for a power source? Huh, I'm, I've kind of forgotten that. Both facilities brought an apocalypse. Yeah, they did, right? Both facilities brought an apocalypse, although Black Mesa brought a worse apocalypse than Aperture brought, because that apocalypse pretty much rippled through Earth, caused problems, caused the Combine, caused the oceans to be filled with protein, which you could eat, but the protein could also eat you. <laughs> Aperture Science doesn't have Otis. That's the thing, if Aperture Science doesn't have Otis, it's not that better, is it? It's like, if you don't really have Otis, then what do you really have? You have Chad Otis and you have no Otis. Which would you choose? With Otis, you always have an abundant supply of donuts. It's like Otis can always reproduce a donut out of his pocket. He is a money-making machine. He is the savior of the Black Mesa facility. Aperture doesn't have an Otis that can produce donuts. Of course, Aperture can produce potatoes, but potatoes are kind of inexpensive and easily foundable. Donuts, on the other hand, are pretty expensive. And if you have a donut producing machine, would you have that or just potato energy? Which of the two would you choose? Which is the better choice? Better choice in the world you could make for yourself and family? Would you choose potato to feed family? Or you will choose donut? Make your choice right now because there is no other way. There is no other choice. Only donut can save world. Only donut can make it a better place. Potato? What you gonna do with potato? Shove it up a crow? Shove it up the dam? Make electrical hum? No, we donut. You make infinite energy with all the stuff you can manage. Donut facility. The donut enterprise. Donut Rio estate. Uh, I'm a bit derailed, chat. Black Mesa has too many kind of useless machines, but wouldn't they not build without, wouldn't they have built them without reason? Sure, testing stuff, but most of it is getting old. It's kind of useless. And in a way, it's wasted money. Come on, it's like so much money for machines and just test, test, tests. They're spending a lot of money. Why do you think the facility is falling apart? Oh, we know they're not getting enough funding either. Sure, they have the test chamber and all of this and all that. But if they just boost the spectrometer to 105% and the whole facility starts exploding, do you really think that's a good facility? Do you really think that it has modern equipment or it's just not getting the funding it deserves and why is it not getting the funding because it ain't getting the results you have somebody grodon freemian master scientist stuff pushing cart physically into beam you have a some you have freeman pushing the cart into the, the resonance resonator or whatever manually pushing the cart you what may you want you they don't have a robot to push the car they have a person pushing the car into the resonator the test chamber what kind of facility is that spending so much money initially you see so many robots and at the test chamber you have a manual cart you have to push into the resonator i think that's just trash you just don't have enough money they're not getting the funding and they're desperately trying to get that funding to prove that Zen is the worthwhile place of infinite energy and government funding. We prove that this crystal has a lot of energy efficiency and that we can use it. Oh, government, hello, look at this, it is big crystal. Oh my god, it has electricity, have more, pot more electricity than Aperture Science potatoes. What do you think? A uh, thousand yard stare at the government official who's pretty much scared for the life and only says yes because they want to get out of the room. If I'm not mistaken, Black Mesa was a government funded facility of their dark inventions and ideas, whereas Aperture Science was a private owned company. Sure, yeah, it's a government facility and it's pretty much not getting the, the, the funding, but Aperture is a private company, but they're definitely getting funding from the government. 
It's like you get these projects and the government would fund the projects because they see a point in funding them. It's, isn't that what's called uh, sub subsidies or something like that? So it's like you get investment from the government and you make something out of it. And if you don't, you just don't get any more funding and you collapse and you explode and you die. It's like, you cannot prove you can make Porto. I stop your potato funding and we see how you get potato. No more potato aperture science. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter whether you're private or you're a government funded facility. In the end, the government says what you do. What you're gonna do otherwise? You're gonna trade to the other. You're gonna play with the private sector, being in the private sector yourself. It's kind of tricky. The money is with the government, and yeah, who, who are you gonna trade with? The other private sector with portal technology or the government? You're gonna offer the government the portal, so you're gonna offer some uh, private firms that are gonna offer you peanuts. The government is the the real deal here. But sure, they had the opportunities to trade with the private sector themselves talking about Aperture. We have some good points in Aperture. It survived the invasion. Black Mesa did not. We're not sure if it survived the invasion because Aperture pretty much got destroyed on its, from the inside out. But you bring a valid point because the people who were working there are dead, right? And it's like, if there's nobody in facility to tell any, anyone else outside facility, where facility is, then how is it supposed to, uh, to how, are, how is anybody supposed to find it, right? But then again, the government must know about it. A lot of people must know about Aperture Science. So how did it exactly survive the invasion is my question. Davenport, what do you mean by which one is your, my, my favorite? You talking about a Black Mesa or an Aperture? Oh, it's a tricky question. Well, I'd say both are very interesting places. I kind of would say Black Mesa because it has way more it's for me it's a way bigger facility and even if no lore has been written about it we create our own lore and it's incredibly vast it's incredibly vast you can say black mesa is the hugest facility with so much lore behind it that okay it's not exactly written somewhere but we are writing it we are making lore the g-man monster it the g-man monster walks the real ways of black mesa and Black Mesa uses donuts to fuel the motivation of scientists. Meanwhile, Aperture, it's a pretty vast facility on its own. Do you think when Shell stepped out of Aperture, the Combine was there? Or could it be in the future? Where the Combine left there? I, would, I don't, th hey, G, I don't think that they had enough uh, power to sustain stasis for sh Shell, 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 Shell. Is it Chell or Gel or Shell? Portal 1, she's already in stasis, so we don't know exactly how long that time was. Yet the facility looks kind of pristine, right? So the chances of Aperture being after the Combine left Earth, possible yet it maybe, if it may manage to sustain itself for a hundred years, maybe. Because why not really, if you think about it? Hmm. But then Earth would be devastated and the portal 2, we, it's like we exit the toilet. The toilet shed! We get out of toilet and we see rice fields, I mean wheat fields. <laughs> we see wheat fields. And unless that's a scam, it should be Earth before the Combine invasion. And yet, it doesn't make sense because the Combine invasion happened pretty much like 20 years after Black Mesa or something. No, no, it happened after Black Mesa. Earth looks surprisingly nice. Combine would be there exploring Aperture because they do stuff like that. That's the thing. That's the thing. They should be in Aperture and yet they aren't. Wait. Wait. Chat, I just figured something. What if Aperture, you developing portal technology, actually rippled through time and teleported to another Earth where the Combine invasion never happened? That's it. That makes sense. Because why else would you get it out of stasis, right? As Ch gel or gel, good gel, the facility wouldn't be overrun by combine. And at the end of Portal 2, there's rice fields. I mean, wheat fields. And everything's fine and dandy. 
And during Portal 2, you know, the facility is destroyed. Also, you teleport to the moon. And there's the moon. It's like uh, the Apollo mission or something. And it's like, where's the Combine? Where is Combine? I want the M now. It's because the aperture. I <laughs> you know. <laughs> Rice. <laughs> no. <laughs> so maybe they managed to somehow teleport the whole facility to another Earth where the invasion never happened. Where Black Mesa failed and it was just made into a dumping facility for radioactive waste. The Chernobyl accident, where do you think they moved the whole tr the elephant foot? They put the elephant foot in Black Mesa, that's what they did. Maybe they even teleported it to Zen. We don't know. Maybe we maybe we overtook Zen without causing the resonance cascade. Huh. That that kind of Oh, that kind of dimension. Poss possibly Black Mesa actually succeeded and Aperture utterly failed. Maybe that's a world where Aperture never existed and the destruction of Aperture was not known by anybody and nobody knew about Aperture because this Aperture teleported itself to an Earth where Aperture never existed. Yeah. And it, it, it kind of looked like normal Earth. Let me just check a screenshot here, G. Uh... Portal 2 moon. Portal 2 moon landing. We see the space Nazis on the earth from the moon. Yeah, earth looks pretty blue. Damn. And you can't tell me that the combine didn't take the facility. What are they waiting for? No, definitely something happened with the teleportation. It just makes sense for the aperture science to have been somehow shifted from time and into a different dimension where it actually didn't exist on another Earth. And now nobody knows about this facility and it's the secret facility that nobody knows about. In a way it makes sense, it doesn't make sense, but it's it's way more sensible to me than, oh, Combine just couldn't find facility, ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> they should do more expansions that show the survivors of the Aperture disaster. There are no survivors, it's just the rat man. And the rat man, he is like a walk, it's like, he's like a white, white walker. Trudging alone facility, hiding himself from cameras and turrets. I think it was pretty much the rat man, the only person survived, who survived the poisoning. Because, you know, GLaDOS pretty much poisoned everybody. GLaDOS be like, human equal bad. It means put the gas on and kill everybody. We never really hear anything about Aperture other than Borealis. So... They know about the Borealis, yet they don't know about Aperture, and it's never mentioned other than the Borealis. It just feels like this Aperture existed, and then it just didn't stop existing. Maybe the whole Borealis, it's like the teleportation of Borealis made Aperture shift to another dimension or something like that. Or maybe Borealis teleported itself to wherever it teleported itself, and... Aperture was fine, and then Borealis came back and shifted time and space, because it pretty much, the Borealis is an uncontrollable time machine, dimension machine, I don't know. So why wouldn't it go back to its initial position and potentially cause a time ripple, causing the facility to teleport itself somewhere else and be gone from the Earth-controlled, from the combine-controlled Earth. And as Aoji said, that Earth just looks surprisingly nice from the moon. Which is like, it shouldn't have so much blue, it should be dark and stringy and disgusting. Disgusting, you see blue, you, know, you don't see blue. You see, uh, you see Mars. You, you type in google.com. How does Mars look from space? And that is what Earth should have looked like from the moon in Portal 2. If only Black Mesa actually learned about simulations and stopped using equipment to make actual physical tests and get people to actually push physically the carts to make a stupid test happen. You what? Make a robot push the cart. Don't make Freeman go with a hazard suit to push the cart. What's wrong with you? I heard that Portal 2 is 5,000 years or 5 million years after 7 hour war. <laughs> okay, what about before the facility was destroyed by GLaDOS? That's the question. Aperture did some teleportation experiments, but I didn't think they teleport the whole facility across the multiverse. It seems kind of unrealistic, even for Aperture. Is it unrealistic to have a boat? Yeah, a boat 
It's like, why is there a bloody boat in the facility in the first place? Why is there a boat in the facility in the first place? Why is there a boat inside facility? A boat? What the? Why? What is that doing there? That's the unrealistic part for me as well. And teleporting the whole facility somewhere else is heavily unrealistic. Is Sure. But is it impossible? Is it exactly impossible? How sophisticated is this portal technology? They teleported the whole boat somewhere else. And why does it have this infinite amount of power source that, can, that makes it able to sustain itself for such a long time? I don't get it. Black Mesa made the test chamber with the brilliant idea in mind that they're going to have a physical person push a card into a, the resonator. That is the most stupid thing that the facility could have engineered. And what about the whole facility itself? No ramps, no nothing, no safety measures. Everything is incredibly dangerous. Black Mesa. Black Mesa was a rival to Aperture. And whether we looked, look at it however we want to look at it, at a certain point in time, they were competing against each other. Whether that be the old, the old Aperture, where they were with these uh, old test chambers, which we uh, witness as we fall down the pit in Portal 2, we fall to the bottom of the salt mines. That means that Aperture existed during uh, Black Mesa's time. So when the Combine came and did bad things to earth it's like combine combine comes and starts the spanking yeah smash spanking oh, bad bad people what are you doing stupid monkeys teleporting everywhere don't do that so that means that both facilities existed at the same time when was that whatever right the invasion happened and aperture should have been overrun by the combine but it did which wasn't because it either was teleported to another dimension somehow with this uh, rogue AI going crazy yeah, and doing whatever it wants to do. A lot of people, the government knew about this facility. People, about, people knew about this facility. It was privately owned. Uh, initially, the old test was you had test subjects. Just random workers from, I guess, coal mines were sent there for, 50, for $20, right? Oh, come here, $20. I pay you $20 so you could uh, uh, go test, do the test. See that uh, white sludge? It's moon rocks. I want you to touch moon rocks and see what happens. Don't worry. I personally touched moon rock and nothing happened to me. Nevertheless, Aperture has no kind of indication that the Combine was ever there. And that just doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't. Sure, we can say Combine left. But there is zero indication that it was ever in Aperture during uh, Portal 1, Portal 2, or the old times where Cave Johnson was running the facility. There is just zero. Cave Johnson doesn't mention it. The facility has no combined tech. Nothing. Zero. And there is no way they could have hidden themselves on a combined controlled Earth where we knew about Aperture where officials knew about Aperture, where Cave Johnson grabbed coal miners to do tests for Aperture, and those coal miners told other coal miners to go and do tests for $20. $20? That is no amount of money. It only is a lot of money uh, for India, because with this amount of beans, India can sustain themselves for two months. Two months worth of beans and building rocket which makes goes to moon and finds where Aperture really is hiding. You think Aperture is on Earth? Aperture is on moon and for us to go to moon we need to take rocket. Rocket can only bring us forward in the success of human uh, advancement in ascension. We need to make rocket big again. We need to make it great again and reach the moon without any kind of... Uh, uh, remorse, remorse, moon rocks, that is what we are aiming for. This is our goal, this is our successful vantage point. So we could become multidimensional species, take over universe, and uh, bring, we become group creatures. Yes, we have to ascend to the status of group creatures. Dr. Breen ascended, he became Breen group. That means he could have multitude of psychological uh, simulations inside the big group creatures. I keep hitting microphone. Ascension, 
into group creature. Yet is our future. <laughs> Black Mesa did more for the community. <laughs> they gave Tau cannons to military so they can kill thieves. <laughs> Yeah, they made foul cannons and they were that was using radioactive stuff. So sure, they developed uh, military technology and yet it was kind of experimental. And that technology kind of died with the destruction of the facility, which kind of sucks. He says we can make the assumption that it's been five million years and the Combine are either extinct or they beat, got beaten up by the resistance. Imagine being an ISS astronaut and suddenly you see combined ships and drop ships and you have this alien looking through the spaceship window and you're like, oh my god, I surrender. Here we ask the question now, we're establishing all points. We've unrolled the paper, we've gotten the burrito and we've put in the spices, we've put in the, the rat mince, we've put in the portal moon rock technology. We put on the moon rock dust, I mean, inside the burrito, and we've squeezed it. And now we're going to eat it by making the finalization. Which is better? What the question is, is Black Mesa better or is Aperture Science the better facility to be an employee? Oh, no. I froze Beto. He's going to break microphone. So, chat, which is better? Black Mesa or Aperture? Both facilities failed utterly. Both facilities meddle in the dangers of toxicity, radiation, dangers that they only the worst imagination and most uh, degraded human mind can figure out. Oh, Zontrop Goblin, you've been uh, lurking about, haven't you? Or you just came about? We finally got to the point. I have been talking only about the topic and nothing else. It wasn't like last time. And I have had no distractions other than my own uh, insanity. Yeah, insanity. I'm fine, don't worry. I'm fine. So, I kind of, it's a pickle. I'm not sure which is really the best. Chat. Okay. Mjolnir says Black Mesa. Zone Hop Goblin though says Aperture. Aperture! I'll go with Aperture Mesa. Siri Art and Gaming! We can't have both! It can be only one! There is a pedestal! You see pedestal! And pedestal has only one place for best, uh, best facility! You can't not put two facilities! There is no space! The committee says no! There must be only one! Only one can be the best. I cannot accept this idea of a malfunctioning brain. The reason SpaceX managed to achieve so much, Elon Musk, yeah, boss man of the world, is because they had the ability to spend a lot of resources and make accelerate, accelerated testing. Meanwhile, NASA, a government-funded facility, can only get funding for the results they get. And the only way they can get results is by having always successful tests, yeah? They cannot have failures. Meanwhile, SpaceX has the ability to have failures and accelerate their technology. Change things instantly. We make a test. The rocket explodes. It doesn't matter. We do another rocket. Black Mesa does not have the luxury to fail. Failures mean no funding. So they cannot really change their technology because they got to use the old tech because they can rely on it, right? Only old tech. We can rely on it. New tech. We can't exactly rely on it. Because then we have to change all of the technology. In order for it. To work. In perfect harmony. With the facility. Hem -b 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 -ben. I says you talked about a rocket. I didn't talk about rocket. I talked about beans. And then I talk about rocket. You see those big D's. The big rockets underneath us. They are making gonna get us to the moon. We are going to find. If the moon missioned was a sham or a reality in technology black mesa technically wins but the safe but there is safety in aperture sense uh, if you go uh, if you go to cave johnson's era was there really safety they were experimenting with all kinds of stuff as well so they kind of disregarded the safety of the participants i mean cave johnson himself said, laughs at them for going there for 20 dollars they're testing all kind of gels 
I guess they use moon rocks for the gels as well. You don't see much of the tech in Black Mesa, but just seeing the anti-mass spectrometer, you can see they're advanced to sell. Hey, OG, it's advanced, right? But then why do you have a test chamber where Gordon Freeman physically pushes the cart? So you have all these advanced robots you see during the beginning of the tram ride. And then Gordon Freeman pushes manually. Manually! He manually pushes the cart into the anti-mass spectrometer. Yeah. Yeah! Why the... Why? Why? Why would they... It, what the... No! You need me! Well, they need a reason to use the sexy HEV suit. Well, that's the thing. Is that the reason? Oh, government. Uh, now we need, we have this awesome idea. It's called the HEV. It's like an exoskeleton. It's very powerful, strong suit. And we need it. It's, we'll tell you why we need it. It's like we have this test chamber, right? And we need a person to push a cart physically and the only way to push the cart is if we develop this HEV suit, right? So government, government, please give us funding. Uh, we need HEV so we can uh, physically push the cart. <laughs> and then why they, they're not getting enough funding for better tech? They could have easily automated like the mechanism. They don't need a person inside the chamber. Just thinking about it, the test chamber could have bought, okay, the I tell you, but that's even worse if that's true. Hey, hey, UG, you bring a point. What if the test chamber wasn't just about testing samples, but also testing uh, the HEV suit? Gordon Freeman is a hamster in a test lab. Gordon Freeman doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. And this highly trained professional is the hamster. Okay, Gordon, after the test is over, you will need to uh, e explain us the symptoms that you are experiencing. You have a tumor growing on your ass cheek. Show it to me so I can know how bad it is. Oh my God, we need this syringe to inject you with it to cure your disease. Insurance? Health insurance! You don't have health insurance. Go back to your dormitories in the dark mesa. The syringe is also a test. Uh, Gordon, we need to figure out what's going on if we put the syringe on your ass cheek tumor. For anybody who hasn't joined the Discord, what are you waiting for? I will put it right now. Discord is the place of salvation. That is where you escape. Being experimented on, like Freeman, Gordon Freeman in the test chamber. What if Gordon Freeman was experimented on and he lost his ability to vocalize himself? He was talking too much about wanting to leave the facility. So they had to cut it off. Cut off the whinging. Whinge, 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 whinge. Gordon Freeman, shut up. Uh, 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 there is a test. You have to go to test. Whinge, 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 whinge. Okay, go now. Gordon Freeman goes there and he cannot whinge anymore. No more whinging. They cut it off. Boom! We figured it out. Is it? Chat, come on. Come on, round two. I changed your minds. Come on, let's go. Wow, Mjolnir, what is wrong with you? Oh my god, how could you say Black Mesa? No! You would rather work in Black Mesa than Aperture. I mean, sure you would die in either way. <laughs> sure you'd die either way. But it's a question of how you get to that death, right? So you'd rather die by radiation and be tested on than just being in aperture and getting tested on and dying from moon rocks as well. All right, I guess Black Mesa is more exciting by those regards. So apparently the majority says Black Mesa. How about you choose the third option? That none, neither of them. It's like there was the option there. It's like, you just say neither. You, you, why do you want to participate in these crazy facilities? No, no, neither. Run away. But I guess Black Mesa is exciting because why is it exciting? You just die. No.
At least I will die in a badass way, Black Mesa. While in Aperture, I'll die in a funny way. I will die by funny air. Yeah, that's kind of sad. It's like you're just working in your office and you're typing trash on your computer, some report from Moon Rocks. It's like Cave Johnson one. And suddenly it's like you smell something in the air and you're like, oh, probably somebody farted in the vents. <laughs> it's like somebody farted in the vents again, whatever. And then you're dead. If you can choose between Aperture and Black Mesa, I guess I'd choose Black Mesa myself. If I didn't have the third option. Yeah, it's like dying from a fart in the vents. Would you rather die from a fart in the vents or from an incredibly sophisticated or from the mi military or from stupid Zen animals? I think the worst could be stupid Zen animals, yeah? But the fart in the vents is even worse. I guess you'd rather die by stupid Zen animals than a fart in the vents. I agree. But thanks to. Yeah, all right. Chat. We figured it out, right? In regards to working in, whether in the first facility or the second facility, we understand that the danger is always there and that what, what, whatever we do, we're going to die in either facility. And now, now, apparently we choose Black Mesa. Democracy has spoken. We choose to the glorious death in Black Mesa Research Facility. Because it's better to be killed by stupid Zen animals than fart in the vents. That is the conclusion of this topic. The conclusion about why Black Mesa is better than Aperture in regards to what really happens, in regards to the ultimate fate of getting killed. Of course, in Black Mesa, you have the chance to escape, to survive the accident. In Aperture, you're gonna get killed by the fart in the vents. There is no escaping the fart in the vents. Just some boss. 